three years old. Kill Raven. You dropped two tabs in 1969 and you're still gone. Good morning. Um... 340, let's say 3. Oh, it's uh, 306. No, oh, okay, so it's 406. So it's 406. Uh, ferry leaves at 515. Uh, we're actually sitting outside the gate because the gates for the, for the ferry terminal is not open yet. So we've just been sitting here the last little bit. Got to my parking spot just down the road. Uh, about 11.30 or 12, I guess. Uh, the car is packed, uh, but uh, built myself a nice little bed back here. The pillow. Uh, it was actually quite comfortable. Being that short made it, of course, uncomfortable. But... As far as being comfortable for the hips and the back, and it was having the pad there, it worked just marvelous. So, kind of filled up the wheel wells with stuff to level it off, and then put down a tiny camping mattress, little shitty one. And can I say that on here? Yeah, it worked pretty good. You know, it was a little cold, but. Having these big ass semis whizzing by my car all night was absolutely distracting. But other than that, I'm ready for the ferry. Excited to get down the other side, get the bus, get her unpacked, get her unpacked and packed again already for Thailand. All right, let's see if we can do some filming on the way in. I think my tripod out, so. Catch you in a bit. So, they opened the gates uh, approximately 10 minutes ago. The line just started moving. I, of course, picked a line with some big ass long trucks in it, so it seems to be moving a little faster. Um, obviously, if there's smaller vehicles, there's gonna be more people paying and going through, whereas in the big trucks, one pays, one goes through, one pays, one goes through, so moving up in the line real fast. I have a reservation. Of course, I have it on my phone, so once we get to the pay station, I'll have to uh, stop recording. Yeah, I think we're next. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Six, five, four, three, two, guys, two, three, 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 <laughs> I could have been first! I could have been first! Take on the world and make it your own. Yes, I'm Steve Hockle, your ever going guru. So once again, we're headed out to Vancouver Island. 
exciting and storing our stuff. So of course one of the difficulties I'm having is what to do with my stuff. What stuff do I need? What stuff can I go without for the first little bit? Um, only allowed to have so much luggage go onto the airplane with me to go over there with. Now I'm hoping to get my credentials, my press pass, which would allow me a little bit more items, but once again, are kind of limited. So I did buy myself a large 4 feet by 5 feet by 4 feet tall storage container. It's a big wood box with felt lining, black felt lining that you can see like on road gear stuff. So whether I send it, it takes two and a half to three months to get from Vancouver here to Bangkok. I don't think that includes uh, customs or anything like that. I just get a point A to point B. So in my head, I'd want to send it a month ahead of time. So that I'm there for a month and then my stuff arrives. I would hope I can settle in a month, or a month and a half, month, month, two months. Or, I go there and I stay there for a month, and then I get shipped to me. Then we're looking at like, you know, I'm gonna be there for like three, four months without the equipment that I want to be using. Now I could be doing all the research and stuff like that, but, and I'll have my essentials with me. Um, this is the usual ferry that I take. The usual ferry is called I've never been on an open deck like this. Very interesting for you. This beautiful park is park free. Caution moving vehicles, place vehicle park, park graves, slept, slippery. I think I could stay in my car, but see anything safe as I can. I keep it moving as long as I can.
Dinosaur slip. Right up that guy's ass. Can you see that? Like, I've got what? Like, what you're supposed to do, like, two or three four lengths behind the other person. She's got. I couldn't put my hands out between the two vehicles. That's how close she is behind the guy. She's It's been a heck of a couple weeks. I think a month ago we were finishing uh, the final project, two-year diploma at BCIT for broadcast and film. Three weeks ago I was doing final exams. Last week, I packed up and moved everything out to the island here. And this week, I went home to visit my parents that I haven't seen since uh, COVID time. And now we're back on the farm already. So I still got a heck of a lot to do. Basically, just came and dropped stuff off and, and left. So I have to uh, reconstruct the flight case that I purchased. For some reason, the bottom is what I would use for the lid and the lid is what I would use for the bottom so I gotta switch that out basically just putting the wooden spacers on the top portion of it and then I might actually reimburse the inside with some one by ones like just build another frame inside uh, shut the car off uh, we got to make the bus our own. I'm going to probably just keep the bus. Uh, I wanted to sell it, but it was going to be an easy $10,000 going to Thailand. But I've decided that it's best. Well, I need to be able to have something here to store my stuff, uh, store my son's stuff, all the baby clothes, that kind of stuff, right? So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen there, but plan is at this point, maybe probably coming back every three or four months during crappy season uh, over there to help out on the farm. So same time scale as this, I come back June, July, August, and then in September, I head back to uh, Thailand. So hopefully that's how it goes. Thanks for sharing the drive with us and we'll catch up with you next time. I've been Steve Hockle, your ever going guru. Bake, create, produce repeat.